I'm Alex Fitch and I'm at the Illustration Cupboard with Sean Tan, illustrator, writer, artist and now award-winning animator. Uh, we have here a couple of pieces from um, The Lost Thing, the uh, children's book that was turned into your Oscar-winning short. Mm -hmm. And it shows very much how your work is mixed media. We have um, yeah. a piece at the top which is uh, oil paint over the top of technical drawings and excerpts from um, various, looks like books of physics and yeah, and, that's right. and maths, and at the bottom yeah. a much simpler sketch. Uh -huh. Could you speak a little about how you use mixed media in your work and how often you go straight into paint, or if it's more often that the case that you start off with a sketch and work from there? Yeah, well, I always start off with, uh, with sketches, um, often like this, and uh, then uh, I, I did a lot of media experiments in those days and with this particular book um, because it's set in a world that's so kind of dry and mechanical I wanted to incorporate this collage of physics and math textbooks mm. um, and I also, also wanted the book to be incredibly dense so there wasn't any white, spa white space in it at all everything's mm. covered with stuff like layers and layers of, of a past culture of, mm. of something very mathematical um, and then just allowing these little windows into which these uh, images very organic looking images might contrast with all that technical detail and the introduction of these strange creatures and immediately when looking at it I guess um, I found a sort of poetry in between the the dry hard-edged technical diagrams and these soft tentacled shapes mm. um, which has become the core of the aesthetic for the whole the whole book and uh, painted it in oil paint using um, watercolour brushes okay yeah, just to, in order to get the fineness of detail and, and ruined many expensive <laughs> watercolour brushes that way. <laughs> On this wall, uh, we've got a variety of different sketches in uh, pencil and charcoal, in ballpoint pen, which I guess is a mixture between the kind of work we might find in your sketchbook and mm -hmm. then finished pieces that ended up in books like The Arrival. Yeah, that's, that's right. Um, uh, there's, these particular sketches are... Um, taken, well, basically torn straight out of um, the sketchbooks for the arrival and there's, mm -hmm. there's many of them because it was such a huge project and I went through hundreds and hundreds of drafts of each page um, you know, often very quickly uh, trying out different ideas it's a little bit like um, a manuscript mm. instead of words you have these tiny little um, diagrams and very crude drawings because I'm not even worried about what they look like I'm, I'm purely sketching concepts so and it's just enough for me to understand almost like a doctor's prescription, mm. like person running, um, people hugging, uh, buildings, you know, and this sort of <laughs> thing. And I'll, even when the drawings are really scruffy, I'll have written notes just to explain to myself. But it's, it's, it's showing the um, core thinking process. It's often I'm reluctant to show this stuff because it looks so ugly to me, but at the same time, um, it's, it's an honest revelation of the process that goes into what most people see in the printed book, which is uh, highly rendered, polished work. That's not where I spend most of my time. Mm. Most of my time is spent doing all this um, uh, mucking about with, with, you know, I always start by drawing a square and filling it with something, and then mm. um, you see I've drawn arrows as I think about changing the order and so on. Mm -hmm. um, this scene in the, in this, in the story is uh, not written about at all. Um, but there's actually quite a lot of text that goes with, with this story. Um, but in the middle of the text is a, is a six-page silent section which shows um, a couple having a journey yeah. through the desert. And, uh, you know, none of that is narrated because it was more powerful just to show all these weird things happening mm. um, and leave it to the reader to try and figure out what's going on. And then the, the text picks up at the end. The words generally do stuff that the pictures can't do, so often explain abstract concepts, um, which would be quite impossible to draw pictures of, I think. And the pictures show other things, showing really weird mm. ideas that would be impossible to describe, but like you wouldn't be able to adequately describe that image in, in words. So um, a lot of it is to do with compression. Like I'm trying to make sure stories as short as possible, mm. and in doing so, I'm trying to think what's the most economical way of conveying an idea instantly, but still have it being very mysterious. Yeah. 